Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And yes, this is a new sheet for my toy review channel because my other one got all dirty and everything, so that's why I created a brand new one from scratch. The main old one is still going to play point here on the channel, and the face is still exactly similar and the same, so it's a slight change, so I'm sorry about that in general. <laughs> going to tighten this up. Loose thing, not wanting to stay put, so I tightened it on the tripod. And now it's time for another review, people. And today, we have Transformers Authentics Bravo Ratchet. And here we got a nice artwork of our boy, Ratchet. Autobot Ratchet. Autobot Hasbro 6 Plus, which is the age requirement for this figure. And a bio about Ratchet. Epic Autobot Medic and Ambulance Autobot. And that's what I can read on this. I can only read a little bit, so if I can't read it all, please do forgive me. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's get down to showing off Ratchet himself. He rolls pretty good for Authentics Bravo figure. Now for vehicle mode comparison. Here he is next to Cyberverse Ratchet, which they are similar. And that's the Spark Armor Ratchet. Siege Ironhide, looking good. And Scout Class Ratchet. And now it's time for Transforming Ratchet going to start by pulling this loose and I found this gun that can fit in Authentics Bravo Ratchet's hand. I think it's from one of the Ruination figures that I had an extra Ruination Combaticon or Decepticon gun. But transformation is very simple because I've memorized it. And here we got Ratchet in his robot mode. And this is really well sculpted. I didn't bother saying the steps in this review because it was so simple to transform. And that is really good painted, really good sculpted. No bend at the knee, but he can kick out. He His leg can go backwards, second verse, just like the first. It's a really good figure. Now for comparison, here he is next to Cyberverse Scout Class Autobot Ratchet, and they look pretty good, if I do say so myself. And of course, next to Spark Armor Ratchet, if I can get him to transform on camera. And so far, it's coming out real nice. Because I've memorized Spark Armor Ratchet's transformation. Here he is next to the Spark Armor Ratchet. And he is a little bit bigger than Spark Armor Ratchet because he comes up his head comes up to his uh, waist, so he's obviously a little bit bigger. And of course, comparison with Siege Ironhide. Because that matters on this channel. It does matter. Because comparisons on this channel really matter. I don't have 
Earthrise Ironhide to compare this to. Or Earthrise Ratchet. But here he is next to Ironhide. And, uh... Earthrise, not Earthrise, but Authentic Bravo Ratchet is a little bit smaller than my boy Ironhide. Yeah, a little bit smaller. And the arms do get some articulation. Not much, but some, as you can see. And you can put the arms in so many different locations, if you want. It's your toy. It's it's a toy that anyone would enjoy, and I would highly recommend this, especially if you like Ratchet that much, as I do. I probably have about three Ratchets now. And that's all there is to say for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And another, f before I end this video... I will say, I am looking forward to getting the Authentics Bravo Barricade whenever I see him or he comes out, because he's the last figure of my line besides the 12-inch Grimlock. Now this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out.